guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episode 8 of The Millionaire Detective. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. No, oh, that was literally us like an hour ago. It was raining hard as heck. What the hell? Mm -hmm. and, and I get that. I wouldn't trust the police either. Honestly, that us because there, there's got to be someone in it. And it could be someone we've already met, or it's someone that we haven't even seen yet, and they are just mm, making puppets out of everybody else. And whoever the fuck it is, because we have like, this eight, nine, ten. we got three more episodes left before we're done with the show. And I'm just like, ugh. But see, it has to be someone who at least is the same age, if not older, that needs to be strapped in this room. I don't know. We'll see. Look how small that is. That is not a full meal. <laughs> it looks good, though. Video chance? Yeah. 
But see, I don't think he's going to come out and say it quite quickly. I mean, technically last week he did by doing the phone call and everything, but... Mm, of course. Because probably somebody, you know, after, you know, whoever killed her went to the company and just mm, shut her down. Wouldn't it just be better to work together instead of doing it by yourself? She But you have to know something. Of course, just like they did what's her face. It's written all over his damn face. You're taking stuff out. There has to be something up. Because why in the world is the freaking computer AI taking ish out? I don't feel like your father killed her. I feel like someone else killed her. And then your father came in and accidentally held the knife. So his fingerprints are on it no matter what. And then he killed himself. Because if you do, I might end up getting you killed as well. But doing it anyway. But I love the fact that he wants to know the truth about his parents and what happened that night. I get that. But still, it's going to lead. Well, it's not even going to. It already is leading him on a dark path. It's just, just oh my god.
This is the only way you two can talk. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, just answer the question! Of course he did. <laughs> it's not what you think. <laughs> I mean, at least they're still giving them food and everything. I mean... No, it's something. If you tell him... Oh, Jesus, there you are. <laughs> Come here. Well, just tell us what you need to know and you'll be able to go. Why? Because, okay, no. Because, see, if he spills, whoever is supposed to be the hitman to kill him will come and then everybody can catch him. Yeah, because here comes somebody. All the new offers over there. Hmm? Well, we're breaking in, of course. Oh my god. Hurry, please. Oh. 
Oh my Oh my god, they have drawn. <laughs> 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 Of course, they wanted to wait until they got left. Do you have the cameras on still? But shouldn't you guys tell Cho, though? Okay. That was the only way to draw them out, right? So then it had to be somebody who's already been in the house. Please be careful. Mm, I want to know who it is first before y'all try to leave. Your dad? So then that has to be his dad then. Come on, man, just... It is her, it is his dad. Oh! But why, though? I I'm so confused. Oh my
Mm. What matters is to me that you're okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's fucked up. I, I okay. Was I expecting that to happen? No. Hell no, nah. not with this ish. So okay, if the guy who just killed Take and Cho is Daisuke's dad, why come back? There's got to be something else. Something doesn't make sense. <laughs> we only got three episodes left. To conclude this damn show, I, I mean, I have so many questions right now rather than answers, and I feel like nothing. I feel like I know so little, but I wasn't thinking that he would have died today. I was thinking, okay, no matter what, by the end of the series, Cho would have been okay. He would have survived this. He would have ended up being, like, retired for the rest of his days until he died, but not to have something that an investigation that he lingered over for 19 plus years and that's the reason why he got killed so now it, it, it's just like what the fuck just happened why why i'm so confused oh my god it's something it's gotta be with what daisuke saw in the lab that his father is hiding. Why is his father hiding? Not only because it, it seems like, yes, his dad did kill his mom, even though I don't really truly think that his dad actually killed his mom. Who even knows if that person who killed those two is his dad? But it seems like because Suzui was like, it is you, but I thought you were dead. And same thing with Cho. So only Suzui, Cho, and Take know who it is, but the other two are dead, and Suzui is the only one who's alive. I get the fact that Haru is mad at Daisuke because he's like, yeah, you let those two die. But the thing is, they're the ones who chose their own end instead of running away because if they ran away, they possibly would have been running away for the rest of their lives. So what was the point? I get that at the end of the day, but still, I mean, it, it was a courageous, but I didn't think that nobody was going to die in this episode. I was thinking that everything was going to be okay. They were going to find out who it was or get close to finding out who it, uh, who it was so that us, the viewers, would have to wait another week to find out who it is. But if it is Daisuke's father, like I said, big question is, why? Why would you do this? That's the only thing that we really, truly need to know about as of right now. But if it's not, then who the heck is it? But it has to be him because the fact is that he got through the firewalls in every house because he is, I mean, every he got through every firehouse through the house because he is the highest, even though Daisuke is. But if Daisuke had made it in time, Cho and Taka wouldn't have died. And I think in the end, that was the reason why he was stalling because he was like, you know what? I just want to know who this is. I want to get this over with. I'm just going to stall for my death and I'm going to go through it gracefully, no matter what. And Take, instead of running away, was like, fuck it, I'm going to die too. But damn, I, I really didn't think he was going to stab him to death, but I, I, I thought it was like maybe going to be like one, two shots and then bam, he would have ran away and that they just would have been injured because of those shots so like let's say they got two shots each, each maybe one in the leg and then one in the shoulder and they would have been fine and i'm like okay yeah nobody dies today but then when you see the blood and the hand anywhere i was like oh, okay never mind they are now both dead so i don't 
don't know. Just, I got a lot of flipping questions about this episode and what in the world is about to transpire in these last three. But we're not going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode eight of The Millionaire Detective. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every two day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode nine. Bye, guys.